I do now. Hey, girls. You love do you me. You love Deb. <laughs> yeah. I heard you wanted to come into my room. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Deb said she didn't even start going in her room. She just started walking in here. You old funny girl. You know. <laughs> you ready? That's a high bed, by the way. A couple yeah. more years and I won't be able to do that. Yeah, I can't do it now. <laughs> Come here, Susie. Susie. Okay, scoochie oochie. Is that a girl? I got my Bible right here. All right, here, hang on. If you're going to lay with mom, we might as well just get comfy and take her shoes off. Oh, you're going to take your shoes off, huh? <laughs> And then we'll get you up so you get your sitting. You know what? I should have gone live so everybody could talk to us. That's what I should have done. Oh, you petting Sophie? Hey. She says, I don't think so. <laughs> Are you ready? Come here. You're welcome. Come here. There. Now you're up a little bit. <laughs> Is that better? Do I, need... I don't know how much better I can get you. Is that okay? You go. You're hilarious. <laughs> hey, baby girl. There you go, babe. I finally put my room back together, and I finally... You know, the... do you remember that I used to have a... Um... Uh, what do you call those cake things? I'll be back for you. It's in the van that we borrowed for Lauren's wedding. You're leaving us? Yeah. Okay, and this is Deb, everybody. Yes, I'm Deb. I'm gonna go do some things. <laughs> okay, just in case you don't know who Deb is. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, I keep forgetting to call them to ask them if they still have it. Because it goes right there. See those two pink plates? Those two pink plates go in there. So those are my colognes and... We need the pink plates back together so it looks better. And uh, I'm drinking green tea because I'm your mother. That's why Lauren got me that. So this is over here. Those are pillows and jammies. I gotta gotta get that a little neater right there. They're all in the same spot, but it's not quite as much of a mess as it looks like. That right there looks like a big mess, but it's not really a mess. It just looks like one. Uh, Mike, have you ever had anything that wasn't really a mess just look like one? No. No, because nothing you have is ever a mess, is it? No. No, it's not. So how are you guys doing? It is Tam's Daily Vlog, Tamara and Micah Weeks. How are you doing, everybody? Our fine, fine friends, how are you? I don't feel very good. I didn't feel good yesterday. I didn't feel good today. Um, I've still been moving around some, but like this is my second time today too, to come <clears throat> to come back to bed. Um, I am teaching a Bible study next Tuesday on the oneness of God, so I have been listening to preaching on the oneness of God. I understand it. I don't know how well I can explain it. I'm going to use this right here. <clears throat> Wheel of Prophecy, Who is God? I'm actually going to use this in my Bible study. <clears throat> but I thought it would be a good idea if I listened to some preaching. Maybe I'll find some Bible studies in there. I'm just on YouTube looking looking at Oneness of God. <clears throat> looking that up and list so I've listened to three different people and then I just had a conversation with William so William was talking about it too and uh, the one oneness of God is very interesting it is worth your time to take a look at the oneness of God if you're not familiar with it and William has been sick for the last couple of weeks and then he sort of passed it to me and this week has been much worse than last week. That's actually why I haven't made any videos. I, but, you know, I've had all these brilliant ideas. The other day I went shopping. What day was this? Monday. 
Bronson was out of school on Monday. I actually felt pretty good on Monday. And I did a whole bunch of things and I was out. It was raining. It was real overcast. And I still was willing to take Bronson shopping after all this. And then while we were in the, at the store, my alarm went off. Had it not been for my alarm, I would have missed it. We've been having Spanish classes on Tuesday night for two hours. They started it right when I went down to Texas for two months. So I missed the first eight lessons. They had lesson number nine this week. And there are only maybe 12 because there's or, or less. There are only a handful more. So I got in on, on that one. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you trying to rub her belly? You rubbing her belly? Yeah, you rubbing her belly? Rubbing her belly. So I took him shopping and I had this brilliant idea. I never take the camera and use it inside of a store. I don't think I've ever made a video inside a store. Um I either don't think about it or I get in there and I decide that, you know, I don't think that's really what I want to do. It feels kind of awkward to have your camera inside of a store, actually. But I was going to take Bronson to get him some shoes and he needed some jeans for when school started, but I was in Texas, so we're just now getting around to this. So we went to Famous Foot. So I told him like five times, Bronson, I'm going to use the camera and I'm going to make a different kind of video we went into Famous Footwear. We forgot the forgot the um, coupon. So we found the shoes. He likes Converse. So we found the Converse shoes. We go back home, get the coupon, come back, buy the shoes. Then we went to the dollar store right next to it. And he wanted to get some snacks for school. So he picked up a handful of snacks. And then we went over to J.C. Penney's and we found him some jeans. So we got him two pairs. So the so I tell the clerk what we're looking for, and he gets two different styles. They're both Levi jeans. He goes and tries them on, and we both agree, man, these look great. They fit great. These are perfect. There are no price tags on these jeans. So I'm like, well, we better go find out how much these cost before we get them. So we go over there and we look at the look at the price. Like they usually have it up on the up on the uh, the the little um, the little signs, maybe everybody knows how much Levi's are. I don't know. So I looked at a couple of pairs of pants, and they're sixty eight fifty. I think is what they were. They were almost seventy dollars, and I'm like, Bronson, I'm not spending a hundred and forty dollars on two pairs of jeans. We just can't do that. So on the next table over, they had Levi jeans that were on sale for thirty something. He picked up two different kinds of those, goes and tries them on. They don't look quite as well as the other jeans did, but they still work, so we got those. We had a coupon, but the coupons don't work on all brands. They do not work on Levi brands, and she gave us a couple of other brands. I guess it's been eons since I've been in there with, been in there trying to buy Levi's. Oh, this is a funny story. While I while while we were in in J C Penney's, where Bronson's in the dressing room and I'm sitting outside the dressing room, and he he's real good about coming out and letting letting me see, letting me see what he what he's tried on. And I remember the last time I was in the store was a few years ago, and I was with Christian. And Christian is trying on pant after pant after pant. And he's looking for a pair of jeans, and he's trying them on, trying them on, trying them on. And he doesn't like any of them, and I'm like, they look fine. What is wrong with those jeans? They look fine. Just pick some, and let's go, okay? <laughs> so I called him up, and I leave him this voicemail, and I'm apologizing to him. And about three or four minutes later, he calls me, and I said, did you get my message? He said, no. And I said, well, I'm sitting here in the dressing room area with Bronson and I'm remembering the last time I was here I think it was with you and I remember that I was a little frustrated a little agitated about all these jeans you were trying on and none of them worked and you didn't like any of them I'm like just pick some out and he said yeah he said he said I'm kind of picky when it comes to jeans 
and I told him I was really sorry. I said, I must have been really stressed and didn't feel well because I'm with Bronson and I don't care if he tries on 10 different pairs of jeans. It doesn't make any difference to me because I don't feel stressed and I don't feel anything. I'm, I'm just fine. I'm perfectly comfortable and relaxed with him trying on these jeans. But I was apologizing to him. I said, I said you'll probably never go shopping with me again. <laughs> he said, I hate clothes shopping. But he, he was cool. I, I don't know if I damaged him in some way or not, but, but he seemed, he seemed, oh, Mike is, Mike is grabbing my hand. Oh, are you giving me a hug? You giving me a hug? Is that a watermelon right there? Huh? Is that a watermelon belly? A watermelon belly, huh? So we had a really good conversation talking about that and me apologizing. It was just really important to me that if I scarred him in some way that he understood that I was sorry. <laughs> I think he was okay. So let's see. We did that on Monday. Let's see. Tuesday. Tuesday I was out. I missed Micah's IPP. That's individual individual let's see it used to be IEP individual education plan now it's individual personal plan maybe I can't remember now but they changed the name of it it's been IEP for many many years I think, yeah. I think they changed it to personal is that right yeah to personal plan yeah okay and I'm out and I didn't even have my phone I left the phone in the car went in to run an errand Came back out, and I look at my phone to check everything that's on there, and I find this message, and it's from the manager at the day program saying, were you able to make it to the meeting today? And I called immediately. They're sitting there. They've been sitting there for a half an hour waiting on me, and I feel absolutely terrible because I don't remember ever missing a meeting. I knew the night before the only thing I had to do all week long was that meeting on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And I missed it. So I'm just profusely apologizing. So we rescheduled it for today. Wednesday, I see. Wednesday, I didn't feel well. Today's Thursday. Yeah, last night, I did not go to church. We didn't have a CNA yesterday. We didn't have a CNA for two shifts last Saturday or the Saturday before, might have been the Saturday before, they took somebody off my team that I know will show up no matter what. They took her off my schedule, put somebody else on my schedule, and then put that same person on the night schedule. Well, that person called in. She's not part of our team. She's a lead, which means they go wherever they send them. And she comes to our house just some of the time. And she's super, super sweet. I love her. Micah loves her. No problem with her. Except she has a little boy. And that little boy is always getting sick. And when he gets sick, then she can't come. Well, that happened on that Saturday. And they weren't able to fill two of our shifts. And I wasn't feeling that good on that Saturday. Then yesterday morning, the CNA was scheduled for morning not not those those two a different cna had morning and afternoon she called in sick and they weren't able to fill either one of those shifts then since i wasn't going to church last night that was wednesday um micah wanted to stay home and go to bed instead mm -hmm. of going to church and waiting until nine o'clock or after for the cna to come which is very rare because usually she will still want to go to church no matter what. But she said she was tired and wanted to go to bed. So <laughs> I did all three shifts yesterday by myself. <laughs> How'd I do, Micah? Yeah. Did I do okay? Yeah. I just didn't give you a bath. I gave her a bath recently, about two weeks ago. It was on, it was on the day when, when uh, we didn't have the, somebody in the afternoon at night. I gave her a bath. And uh, we both about ended up on the floor. Getting her in was easy. Getting her out was difficult. And I thought, okay, well, 
if I have a problem, William is here, and I can just holler, and he'll come in here and help me get Micah up off the floor because she was just inches from being off the floor. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I ended up sliding her across the the um, the seat instead of um, instead of um, having her step out. I thought, oh, this will be easier if I just grab a hold of you and then put you, um, just pull you straight across there. Well, that was a really bad idea because I did finally get her out, but then I almost had her on the floor. She was all stretched out, and uh, anyway, I managed to to get her up and got her out. We did all right, but it was kind of scary, wasn't it? Yeah crazy mom I don't do it often enough to to have a real handle on exactly how to do it but then Deb explained to me what to do when she came and so if I ever have to do it again I will be able to get her out much easier so let's see so that was yesterday so we had all three shifts yesterday with no CNA and I didn't feel real well um, then today I don't feel well today, so I canceled the meeting. We rescheduled the meeting that, that I didn't show up to. We rescheduled it for today, but I canceled it first thing this morning because I just didn't feel good, and I still don't feel very good. But I have gotten a few things done. I did go to the chiropractor, um, and I got the rest of my unpacking done and stuff, got my room back together. I've been working a little bit at a time, but this room has not been my focus. It's been all the rest of the house, so I work some more over on the other side in the family room and got a bunch of stuff all cleaned up. So now when you walk in the family room, it looks like everything is together. So I think we're pretty good over there. It's almost time to go back downstairs and pick up. Remember I got downstairs all cleaned up, and the more I clean up here, the messier it gets down there because everything up here goes downstairs and... Hi, yeah, yeah, it's just so hard. I, one of these days I'm going to have it together. I just don't know what day that is. So that's what's happening over here. And then you went four days without seeing Carly last week. Yeah. Thursday and Friday she was out. And then you had Saturday. Then you had Sunday. But you've seen her every day this week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you've had a good week? Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything you want to tell your friends? No. No. You want to tell them thank you for watching? No. Yeah. No, you, you were blowing them a kiss, right? Was mm -hmm. that a kiss? Yeah. Oh, so you're blowing them a kiss for watching. That's pretty sweet. Are you tired? You want to no. take a nap? No. No? You want to close your eyes for a little while? No. No, you just want to rest your body up yeah. here a little while? Yeah, you're so sweet. I love you. Oh, well, I sound like I'm talking to Sophie, don't I? Yeah. yeah. I love you a whole bunch. Yeah. Do you love me a whole bunch too? Yeah. Aww. And you love Dad too? Aww. You sweetie. Ah. All right. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Leave us a comment. Bye bye.